Good morning. Let us study today bed adsorption theory or pet adsorption isotherm. How this pet adsorption isotherm equation is derived and how it is applied to determine the surface area of the solid surface. How the surface area of the solid can be determined by using pet adsorption theory. This pet adsorption theory is applicable for, is applied to physical adsorption. Physical adsorption is also called physisorption. In physisorption, multi-layer adsorption takes place. Multi-layer, first layer, second layer, etc. Whereas in Langmuir adsorption theory, it is restricted to formation of unimolecular layer. In Langmuir theory, it forms only unimolecular layer or it forms monolayer. Whereas in PET theory, there is a multi-layer adsorption. It considers the multi-layer adsorption, for example, first layer, second layer, third layer, up to nth layer. Similar to Langmuir theory, in PET adsorption theory also, the solid surface, see the solid surface have uniform adsorption site. This is one adsorption site, this is another adsorption site. All the adsorption sites are uniform and localized adsorption sites. For example, it will, adsorption will take place here only, adsorption will localized. So the solid surface have uniform adsorption sites uh, as well as localized sites. The adsorption of gases at one site does not influence the adsorption at the neighboring site. For example, this molecule does not influence the adsorption of this molecule. Okay? The molecules, the gaseous molecules adsorbed in first layer, second layer, third layer, up to nth layer. The gas molecules can be absorbed in first layer, second layer, up to nth layer. Then the surface area available for the first layer is equal to second layer, is equal to third layer, etc. The surface area, for example, there are 10 molecules in first layer. In second layer also, there are 10 molecules. Therefore, the surface area in the first layer is equal to second layer or the surface area available for nth layer is equal to n minus n minus 1th layer. The energy, the heat of adsorption, the heat of adsorption or energy of adsorption in the first layer is called E1, is called, con is assumed to be constant. The energy of adsorption in the succeeding layers, for example, the energy of adsorption in the first layer is E1. The energy of adsorption in the second layer, third layer are assumed to be constant called EL, where EL is the energy of liquefaction of the gas, heat of liquefaction of gas. What is heat of liquefaction of gas? When one mole of gas is converted into liquid, the heat released is called heat of liquefaction of gas, that is EL where R is molar gas constant, T is the temperature. Based on the above assumptions, Brunner, Emmett, Teller, three independent scientists worked on this adsorption and derived the following equation called bed adsorption equation or bed adsorption isotherm. This equation is in the form of straight line y equal to mx plus c. Okay. The pet adsorption isotherm equation is given as follows. p by vt bracket p naught minus p equal to 1 by v mono into k plus k minus 1 v mono k bracket p by p naught. Where k is a constant it is obtained from the E1 and EL. 
okay where e1 is the heat of adsorption for the first layer and el is the heat of liquefaction of the gas r is the molar gas constant t is the temperature p equal to pressure of the gas above the adsorbent what is the pressure of the gas above the adsorbent at that time p where p not equal to saturated pressure what is called saturated pressure it is the pressure required to condense the liquid gas into liquid at particular temperature t so this is the pressure for example a gas can be liquefied at particular pressure a gas can be liquefied by applying this pressure at particular temperature t that is called saturated pressure vt equal to vt is the volume total volume of gas absorbed because you have multi layer adsorption what is the total volume of gas absorbed on the adsorbent x gram of adsorbent for example v mono is the volume of gas absorbed to form unimolecular layer just to form unimolecular layer okay and we will see further the adsorption graph is obtained for nitrogen gas absorbed on silica gel this is the adsorption curve obtained for nitrogen gas absorbed on silica gel okay this is a straight line equation y equal to mx plus c therefore a straight line is obtained or a linear plot is obtained by plotting p by vt bracket p not minus p versus p by p not okay from the slope from the adsorption isotherm but adsorption isotherm from the slope and intercept k and v mono are obtained k the constant k and v mono are obtained from the v mono once v mono is obtained the surface area of the solid solid adsorbent can be calculated i have shown in another video how to calculate the surface area of the adsorbent how to calculate the surface area of the adsorbent what is the surface area of the solid surface solid powder from v mono thank you for watching